Tonight, we have team coverage on the newly announced federal operation to cut down on violent crime in Kansas City. As we reported at 6, this will consist of five different federal departments sending agents to the KC Metro. They're expected to have boots on the ground in the next 10 days. Our team coverage begins with KCTV5's Betsy Webster, who happened to be covering a meeting about how to solve the violent crime problem in KC when the news broke today. She spoke with both the mayor and police chief about what's about to happen. Well, part of the problem is that neither of them got a heads up about this announcement, so they don't really have all the details. But the mayor said here at City Hall that he did figure out that this is more about brains than boots, with an emphasis on investigation. The Kansas City mayor uh, and, the, and the governor, uh, wrote to the governor rather, a letter that said this, we are at a crisis point, he said, uh, and additional help was needed. What his letter asked for was witness protection funding and tools to stop felons using deadly weapons, a.k.a. guns. Instead, he got what U.S. Attorney General William Barr called surging federal agents and other federal assets. This is for support. This is for clearing homicides. This is for clearing non-fatal shootings. This is for making sure that people find justice. This is not more federal agents or the United States Marshal Service or any group just coming to town to take over policing. I knew there was something in the works at the federal level. Um, I, I think it's no secret that we have a violent crime issue in Kansas City. The numbers are significant, but the tipping point may have been the murder just last week of four-year-old legend Talaferro sleeping in his home. Then just days later, the shooting of two police officers in two separate calls for help. It has to break everyone's heart that a four-year-old boy who's sleeping on a floor gets gun, gets a gunshot wound and dies. I mean, um, so I'm glad for the extra help. But investigations isn't the only thing city leaders are trying to address. In tonight's public safety group meeting, a councilwoman asked about to the social determinants and those aspects of pulling people out of the underground economy. And the deputy chief of investigations talked about in helping relocate people out of neighborhoods so that, so that they feel a, a sense of safety to come forward. As the mayor says, the federal help announced today is just one piece. Mental health treatment, treatment for those in crisis, restorative justice, conflict resolution, de-escalation, building closer relationships between the police and our community are also important parts of our crime fighting in Kansas City. A news release sent by the DOJ said the assistance will include 100 FBI agents and help here from the U.S. attorney to assist with what could be a resulting surge in prosecutions. Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.